What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we're creating a dynamic illustration of Super Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. For today's lesson, we'll need some plain white paper and a pencil. I'll be drawing with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Let's begin by lightly sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start from the very top of the middle. So I'm gonna use these short lines coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, we're gonna draw another line going across from left to right. And then we want to use these two lines to help us create a circle on the top of our page. So from that center point, let's move up. It's going to mark off the top of our circle, measure that distance from the center down towards the bottom. Now we want to repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Let's connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We're just using this as a guide. So we just want to get the right size and placement. Now from here, I just want to focus on the pose and basic proportions of our character. Let's start by connecting the outside of our circle with a curve going up the middle and then back down. Now you want to turn the head over towards the right side. So connecting the top of our circle to the bottom with a curve going out towards the right and then back in. Now from the bottom of our circle, we're going to curve the body out towards the right. So we're going to go out and then bend that in towards the bottom. Let's round out the left side of the body, coming around and in, and then bend that down towards the center. Go back up to the top, we're just going to round out the side of the chest, and pull that back in towards the bottom. From the bottom of the body, let's bend the leg, going out toward the left, and then down. And then from here, sketch out a small circle around the ankle. Let's bend the right leg, starting back at the body, bend this out, add a small circle across the knee, and then from the center, bend this down and in towards the ankle. Now we're gonna draw that same size circle along the bottom of the leg. Let's draw the basic shape of the foot on the left. From the outside of the ankle, curve this out and then in towards the toe. Go to the inside, go in the opposite direction and then down towards a point. Now with the right foot along the bottom, bend the foot going out and then down towards the toe. Go up to the top, bend this around and then down towards a point. Let's go off to the side of the body. We're going to bend the arms, coming down and then out on either side. And then we'll lightly sketch two circles for the size of the fists. Now let's go back up to the head and add those spikes going out towards the left. Starting from the top of our circle, it's going to bend this out, go up toward the top spike, come down, and then bend that in towards the side of our circle. Now we're going to step up, add another spike, going out and up, and then this down and then in. Now on either side along the bottom, we're going to add two small spikes. We come down and up, just line that up on the right side, come down and then up towards the bottom of the head. Now let's go in and add some more detail to the face. We're going to start from this point right here, sketch an oval going up in an angle towards the right for the nose. Now from either side of the nose, bend this out and then down along the side of the muzzle. Now right where the muzzle meets that center line, we're gonna bump out the cheeks, going out on the left, and just pull that down towards the bottom of our circle. And then on the right side, this is gonna be a little bit shorter. We're gonna go out and then bend that in. Let's push the mouth over toward the left side, starting up here, come across and then in toward that center seam. Go back to the corner of the mouth, draw the bottom coming down and then out. Now we're going to go back to the top of the nose and draw the bottom edge of the brow. Let's start with the left side. We're going to bend this up and then out. And then the right side, we're going to go up and then out. Let's draw the outside of the eye. We're going to step in, curve this around and then in towards the muzzle. And then in the center of the left eye, let's draw an oval the pupil. On the right side, I'm just going to tuck this in behind the nose. Now I want to add a thick fold along the top of each eye. So we're going to go up above the brow and then bend that in. Let's go over towards the right. We're going to extend this out past the side of the head and then tuck that in. Let's add in the ears. From the top of the brow, bend this out and up. Come down and in. Now on top of the right brow, we're just going to bend this back, going up and then in. 
Let's add some guides inside the fist. We're gonna separate the fist in half, starting from the bottom left, going up and in. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're gonna add four fingers, so I wanna separate the top and bottom in half again, with two straight angled lines. Along the inside, let's add a bump for the thumb, going in and then back out. Now to finish off a rough drawing, we just wanna go back and thicken up the arms and the legs. Just gonna go on the outside of that center seam. And then from the hip, going out and then down. Go out towards the knee on the right, and then back in towards the ankle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up our drawing by erasing some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, we want to use this as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shapes. Now I always like to start in the face, so we're going to start with the nose. It's going to darken up the edge, add a small oval on the top for a highlight, and we'll roughly shade in the bottom of the nose. I'm just going to work our way around the muzzle. Start from the top, we're just going to blend this in toward the side. Add a fold on the right, just tucking that in behind. And then with the mouth, we're gonna add a bracket around the corner. Go across. And bend the back side of the mouth. Now let's add in the teeth. Starting with the top, going up underneath, and then the bottom. And we'll place the tongue along the bottom. Start with that fold, and then tuck in the back side. And then again, just like with the nose, we're just gonna roughly shade in the inside of the mouth. Now working up along the eyes, let's start with the brow, come down the outside, and I want to add a trim inside the ear. So just tracing this along the inside and closing off the bottom. We'll work our way around the top of the head. And then we'll layer these spikes in behind. Now with the hands, we just wanna bump out each of the knuckles. So in between each finger, just gonna add a little bump. Just come down towards the knuckle and just gonna round out the tip of each knuckle. Now the top finger, we're just gonna add a bend. It's gonna go up and then come down the inside and add a fold and add some shape to the thumb. Now you can do the same thing on the right side. Start by bumping up the knuckle across the top of each finger, rounding out the base of the fingers and then adding in the thumb. Add a cuff along the inside. Just gonna add the tail coming out along the side. And we'll add that patch in the center of the body. Coming down towards the bottom, and then back up on the right. Now with the cuff, we just wanna add a couple folds. So we're gonna go to the side, just bend this in, and then tuck the bottom of the cuff underneath. So we're just gonna add a fold along the bottom, and then adding some more shape to the shoe. Just extend the heel coming down the side. And now that we have a more detailed drawing, I'm gonna go back and clean this up again. Now that we've cleaned up our drawing, we're gonna go in and do a final pass by darkening up our contours. So we're gonna start back at the nose. And we wanna apply some thick and thin lines. So just adding some weight with some thicker lines across the bottom where the shadows would be.
and lightly shade in the bottom of the iris or up towards that highlight. Just gonna add one more spike across the back and then just pull that in behind. Now we're going to go back and add those fine details across the shoes, starting with the sole and adding the sole on the inside edge on the left. I want to do one final cleanup before we add in our shading. Now we just want to place the shadows along the bottom edge of our character. So the light's going to come from the top left going across, so the shadows will sit on the opposite side. And you don't want to get too heavy with this, we're just going to add some subtle shadows across the bottom edge and then the back side.
And once we finish shading this in, we'll be sure to send our artwork and that's pretty much it. There's our illustration of Supersonic. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.